How to be the best gran when assembling a dressing up box. Can you remember the delight of slipping into a cloak or a sparkly top far too big for you and acting out some story of fantasy or adventure? Every child should have one. It's part of the basic kit of creative play. And it's just the kind of thing that an inventive grandmother can put together to provide hours of solitary or group play. I refer, of course, to the thing that will make your home the most attractive, wantable place for an imaginative grandchild to be. And that is a dressing up box. Does it have to be a dressing up box? No, of course it doesn't. An old wooden chest is the stuff of fairy tales. It's the content that counts. You can decorate a large cardboard box from the supermarket with wrapping paper or fabric, or invest in a storage box. But a pillowcase will do for stowing away the kit when the children aren't with you. What clothes go into a dressing up box? Uh, brightly coloured dresses or tunics for the base. A swirling cloak is always good value. Scarves and shiny shawls, assorted hats, belts and shoes. And you can add buckles and bows to these if you're so inclined. Remember to make provision for boys too. Dressing up is a very healthy unisex activity. You've probably got a few treasures and glad rags in the back of your own wardrobe, which, if you are honest, are unlikely to make another outing or dinner date. Charity shops are the very best source of dressing up clothes or car boot sales. Collect a bundle of unbought bargains at the end of trading. What else adds to the children's imaginative adventures? Chances are that the children will find their own props and equipment for their dress-up games. Their imaginations will turn broom handles into laser wands and colanders into space helmets. And you can provide a few belts, old handbags or baskets and a box of precious jewellery, ribbons, hairbands and bejewelled hair grips, safety pins for making adjustments. Is it worth buying ready-made costumes? Toy shops stock plenty of ready-made outfits, but a ninja suit or a woody outfit from Toy Story can only be just that, whereas lengths of coloured fabric, belts, hats and assorted shoes can fuel their imaginations and be reused time and again. One exception, a nurse's outfit seems to get a lot of use and could well be worth investing in, plus a few ready-made masks or crowns and tiaras. And the magic ingredient? If you are prepared to give the time and dress up or be dressed up to join in the play, well... That's magic.